Hi everybody, this is Matt. We're back with another Trackmania tutorial and this is how to create a GPS. So the first thing we wanna do is add our GPS label in a location that is visible from the start. I have a link in the description onto where to download these uh, labels from Trackmania Item Exchange. Then we're going to validate our track to drive the author time. And we'll just go ahead and drive it straight and we'll just go like that. So our author time is 2.638 click on save replay and then exit. Then we're gonna click on the media tracker icon, go to in-game, edit. And this is where we need to create our um, trigger. And so we're gonna, um, you can use the mouse wheel to move this trigger box up and down. And then you can click and drag to create a box. So if you wanted it taller, you can use the mouse wheel and, and kind of make it taller. But in this case, we just need a short, uh, trigger box right here so you can see it, it covers this block but not our main track and then we're going to import the ghost by clicking this timer icon and go to my replays and we can find our gps demo um, replay here and it says two six three eight so that's our our author time then we're going to click the plus and click on player camera and that will add a player camera then we can select it the target as our ghost, which should have the same name as your ghost, and the camera type, either external or external two are good choices for a GPS. Then we need to make the player camera length the same as the ghost. So you can click on the little rectangle on the right-hand side of the orange bar, hold shift, and then click on the one that's on the white bar, and that will make these the exact same length. Hit back, go ahead and save the track, and we can test out our GPS. So if like we can drive it straight as normal, like I'm driving straight, or uh, we can go to the left and test our GPS. So we'll go ahead and drive into our GPS section. And that's our, that was our GPS. So that was our, our author time. So one thing to note is that now, since we've driven it, it actually has a different author time because we modified the track after, like when you save your GPS, it modifies the track. So one thing you can do is use the map validator, uh, which is an open planet plugin to validate maps without driving them to a specific time. So we could validate it to like 2.65 like or, or whatever, we, whatever our author time was that we wanted. So that way your GPS can exactly match your author time. And if you're not sure what your ghost was, you can go back to the media tracker and I think you might actually have to like go back to where you imported it to double check. So if we go back here, we can see our GPS author time was 2638. So I'm going to go validate this track with 2638 um, to get that exact author time. So that's how to create a GPS. One thing to note is you generally want your GPS off to the side so that people don't accidentally trigger it. And then also all the cars will pile up there. Um, if you have ghosts turned on. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. That's how to create a GPS for a Trackmania track and have a great rest of your day.